Right now, though, we're going to Chicago, Illinois, the Williams Pinball Factory. You know this wonderful Popeye pinball machine we have in our, uh, our game room here in the FX apartment? It came from here. And Jillian Hamilton here. is on the assembly line right now. Jillian, good yeah, morning. And I'm Hi, good morning, Tom. I'm going to show you a little bit about how the World Cup soccer game is being made. It all starts right here, Tom, with this, which is called the play field. And in the back, some perforations where all these men and women behind me will be filling up these little holes with very important elements of the game. Now, this is the assembly line. And if you can just take a look at this, there are more than 7,500 solder connections, 6,000 parts, 140 lights, and these men and women have five minutes to do about 25 to 30 solder connections. Jillian? Now, yes, Tom. They must be gangbusters at untangling Christmas ornaments. Oh, they, it must be amazing because with you can see all this, it looks like a big mess to me. They somehow managed to get all that to make sense so we can have a fun pinball game. Now, here is Mr. Steve Cordeck. Hey, Dojo. How you doing this morning? Now, very, very Tom, well. you are looking at the patriarch of pinball. And Steve is going to tell us a little bit about what happens at this point in the assembly line. Very good. I just want you to know that we are now in the final stages of soldering one of the last cables. And every five minutes, all the play fields move so that the ladies can continue working on the games. Okay, what? as we come over here, I see people pulling on cords and painting. What exactly are these men and women doing? Dressing the cables, looking for any possible loose wires, any wires that may not be soldered, and they, in, the, in, the, in the event they are to be repaired, they mark them so they're taken care of at the end of the line. Okay, now what stage are we at when we get here? Now this looks a lot more like what I know is a pinball machine. Very mm -hmm. good. We're now at a point where we turn the play field over and all the additional components are put on the game. We put on these additional ramps that we have here, plastic ramps and plastic, plastic ramps, ramps right. right over there, and we go along. And okay, now Steve, you're 57 years in the business, and I know that you are the first person to put flippers at the bottom of pinball machines. I did that in 1948, and very proud of it because at the show at the Sherman Hotel in Chicago in 1948, I had the only game with two flippers at the bottom of the game, and they've been practically there ever since. And they're still there ever since. Now, what's happening over here? Come with me over here. This is the testing area. Well, what goes on in testing? What are they testing? Yes, we are testing here for every possible component that may not be functioning correctly. The dot matrix, as he's showing now, shows any possible area in which we find ourselves with trouble on the game. And okay. As we come along oh, it, here, and this is the matrix machine up here, right? Matrix is up there. What she does, she's doing now is adjusting all the different switches on the game and at the same time finding any proper problems that we may have with the game. Okay, now I thought that this electrical testing looks fun. Why don't you lead me over to this very exciting area, Steve? Go ahead, go before me. Now, They're getting Tom, very cozy, they, aren't they, down in the assembly no, wait, line? No, this, you know, Tom, you've got to see this. There's actually a man that is paid to test these machines. This man, hi, what's your name, sir? Juan Colon. Juan Colon. You're paid to stand around and test pinball machines. Oh, yeah. A very hard job. Almost as hard as traveling around the country meeting very exciting people. Julian. So do it. What do you what, do yeah, exactly? What's his best uh, score? What's, it, what's your best score? Um, I, I don't know, not really. <laughs> I don't know the game real good. Okay, well, he's, we're going to stay here good with hire. Steve and with Juan, and we're going to test out this machine. Not a bad job being a pinball tester. All right, thank you. Jillian's at the Williams Pretty Pinball easy. Factory in Chicago. By the way, just a little note, uh, you, you haven't seen all of Bob, but he too has flippers on the bottom, and we're <laughs> proud to say that. All right, right let's go first to Chicago, where Jillian Hamilton is at the Williams Pinball Factory. We're going to see the uh, production line in progress this hour. Jillian, good morning. It's amazing, that pinball machine that we've got in our apartment that represents 22 hours of work. When we come back, we're going to be with the patriarch of pinball machines, Steve Kodak, and he's going to show us how in 22 hours, the World Cup soccer machine becomes an amazing and a fun, fun game to play. All right, and John Davis. Sir, good work with the birds, the boys. And we're going to Jillian in Chicago. Jillian, how's the pinball factory? Oh, it's going great. I want to say thanks so much to everybody here at Williams Valley Midway Pinball. Gene Shallon thanks is to with Steve. <laughs> thanks to Steve. They're calling you Gene Shallon. No, this is Roger. He's great. Thanks to Vince and Matt and Gary, who's helped us around. Thanks to all the people here. Their new World Cup soccer game is fabulous. Oh, I have a, pre oh, a present for yeah, me. Thanks to everybody else at FX. Okay. We appreciate you coming to our house. Thanks so much for having us. Great. That's good nice. luck with the World Cup soccer. Thank you very Bye much. Bye from Williams.